up guys it's wire guitars back again this time with something i've never done before this is going to be a live gameplay commentary of me playing a ranked game doubling down as brewmaster i'm going to pick it first i'm going to show you guys that you can have absolutely no fear picking this hero first instant locking her just slapping that bad boy just just locking her right in and picking it off lane this will give my four position the opportunity to counter pick uh, what he sees, or what they see, I should say, um, you know, with uh, CM Tiny. So that's obviously ideal if they have a brain. If they can't do anything with this information, say they, say they're like me, and this guy was going to pick Visage no matter what, right? Then, um, at the very least, me picking first takes some of the pressure off of my team needing to pick their heroes first. So the main reason I want to play it here is because I want to show you guys that you can actually just play a certain formula, play to a certain style of Brewmaster to guarantee a decent game no matter what. Now, um, picking it first in the absolute first stage, you're bound to get counterpicked in lane. And uh, this lane, we kind of see that. Lifestealer, going to be a difficult hero to kill um, when I hit six. I'm just a low damage hero, so I don't really like deal with Lifestealer in a very direct way. Um, I don't provide a whole lot to ganking him. He has rage for my boulder and for my DOTs. But I can absolutely shove them out with one other hero. I can also go the E build um, and start leveling my E a lot to F with him, so to speak, to mess with him, to make it difficult for him to play. And with a hoodwink, we should be able to just dumpster this guy, actually. I'm going to... I'm going to start a stick, I think. There. I'm going to start a stick because of Crystal Maiden. And like I said, I'm going to double down. We have 49 tokens to make use of. They want to try first blood bot. This is a great idea. So I need to get my E for the extra move speed. I'm now moving at 404 during the nighttime quicker than any other hero. I'm probably going to start my W. It should let me lead with my W. Let my W hit first. Let me, let me, let me hit with me. So Brew gets his W off, and then any spell damage they send out, obviously, creates a very bad time for them. So we're going to just play in kind of the... This isn't going to work, is it? There's no, There's no credible angle here, I don't think. gonna walk up here. The battle begins. Okay. Guess we're just a one rune kind of team. That's unfortunate. Oh, we got to walk up. All right. I'm gonna follow my brew guide, and that means two bracers and two arcanes, probably. I there's a slight chance I don't go arcanes this game. And it really just depends on how the lane itself goes, but we're going to make that decision later. And yeah, it is going to be Crystal Maiden and Lifestealer. Lifestealer actually didn't start with any regen, but chances of us smacking this guy out of lane early are pretty slim. We will see, though. Damn. We'll chill on Wind Panda for a bit here. Get the two man. Get a lot of damage. Nice. We can just do that like on repeat if you have mana for it. Oh, that's unfortunate. So we'll keep aggroing the creep up to us. I don't want to take damage from both cri both Crystal Maiden and Lifestealer at the same time. I'm going to be very protective of my health pool. This is just going to also right click them occasionally, which is going to pull aggro, which is fine. Just need to make sure I'm not ever in a 2v1 situation for free. They're gonna go on us here, but yeah, okay, nice. Make them waste their mana. Don't give them an inch. Nice, that was perfect. Perfect. Crystal Maiden can die next time. This simple mistake of not waiting an extra second for Cinderbrew to come up before I clap to this Crystal Maiden actually costs us this kill and 300 gold that could have accelerated my game significantly. This is unfortunate. I have to give up that kill because uh, I couldn't get my shit down in time. I 
which even though I just did. Make sure he doesn't get that, yeah, hell yeah. That's not even necessary, actually. We didn't even need to do that. Yeah, just make sure we get the f Lotus. You can get it. Okay, we're chilling. We're big chilling. He got the Lotus, which is really good for us. We have a massive advantage in lane now. She's gonna go for... And I kind of just knew that was gonna happen. I shouldn't really let that happen. And this is where they die. Yeah, Life Stealer doesn't have a point in rage, he's just fucked. Thank you. I'm gonna get a salve. I'm gonna get, uh, raindrops, actually. Thank you. This guy's gonna just heal my dumb ass up. Could have been in trouble, I should say. Yeah. This is just such a strong lane. I love visages. I need to play visage off lane. I need to learn how to play visage off lane now. Playing with this visage and realizing just nice. Oh my god! Swap your shit. Okay. Should be like relatively full HP now. My Chilling. We're big chilling. Don't know why it's on that. I'll go on them as soon as I see them. I don't know if this is good for us because of the situation with the creeps, like who missed more, you know? It's one of those questions that you gotta ask that you're not gonna get a surefire answer to. This is a core, you gotta get your own words. I have an area. We don't know where LS is. Could be jungling. Visage, you could leave me if you wanna go top or start roaming. I think we're safe. I don't know what to do with this bass again. I got punked. I'm fine. They uh, definitely had like a light switch though. With their, like they really knew the visage was gone. That was kind of crazy. How much that activated in their brain. Gotta say, I commend them. I'll trade with you if you want to trade like that. I have arcanes now for you. Okay, arcanes. We are not. We just spam this guy out now. He can't land. Oh, invoker's bottom. That sucks. I don't have any spells. Always trade with him when it's, when it's like that. Did not mean to tank tower aggro there. Close to six. I'll probably go top when I get six. Okay, I'm six. I'm coming top. I didn't realize that I gooped him. I just hit this without getting tower. 
I'm coming to this lane. Guys. I fucked up. Oh my god. Nice. I have ulti. I still want to keep running until we've like killed him. You really mean to tell me that. No. Here, I'm coming back top with ulti. Can we kill this guy? Please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to fuck him up. I want to make uh, big plays happen. Luna's HP. Stun him. Sash. Okay. So I'm sorry about the lack of commentary. We are waiting for them to make a play on us. That's what we are currently doing. We're waiting for them to go on us. In a, in a f Maybe. It is Puck after all. Tragic. Buck did not die. That's always good. I'd really like to slide in here and kill. Three top still. Crazy. Right. And Crystal Maiden was top too. CM is still top with uh, wind. to say that though my team already knows i'm gonna eat it like this for efficiency no ulti though guys i have no ulti that's what my team cares about do or do you not have your ulti i should be running here if only had spells well played but i had farmed a camp instead i'm gonna stack this camp Farm those two creeps. I'm gonna farm those. Sometimes, Brew, you know, you can just kill a hero in between two heroes, and you gotta be able to recognize that, kind of like I did. My Hoodwink is playing well. And by well, I mean she's playing with me, that's for sure. Close. Close. I'm gonna keep playing for my timing, guys. I have ulti in 23 seconds. I will TP for you guys, but otherwise I'm gonna farm until I get radiance. Then I'll start running if I'm like a maniac. I'm coming over. Uh, back, 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 back. We just wanna wait out five seconds, five seconds. Oh, I can bait them. I'm running in the wrong direction. This is where, like, a, a 7k player, you know, 8k player would have just immediately gone back and not have done this little ring around the rosy. These are just the inefficiencies of my movements that you're seeing in real time. So I'm glad to have recorded them because they will surely stick. 
I did not need to do a ring around the rosy. Puck and Hoodwink had that going. We're not going to kill the tower, and so what I should be doing is playing for efficiency. Now, I could be stacking camp. I think this is 54, and then I'm going to actually try to stack this one too. I guess, like, hit that like that, and then we can just stack them both like this, hopefully. And then now is where the fun time begins, because I'm going to click this, click you, and then I kind of go around for, for maximum. Mm. Close to radiance. That's where you hang your close to radiance because we just hit a massive, ju juicy stack. Ulti. I'll defend top with ulti for sure. I don't... Whatever. We're getting farm on our cores, that's all that matters. Puck being here isn't necessary. I could probably defend it and then he could just hold a TP. But at the same time, if we're getting farm on our, all of our cores, I'm not mad. Right? We, we definitely outscale them. We definitely outscale them. Bait them into you. I will TP. I'm just going to use the spells now. Even though we got another creep. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have the potential to stack them and just take them that way. Now I have to like redundantly use my shit again if I want to farm it quick. Coming, I'm coming top. I can just kill her. They don't even need... Jesus. That one ranger is feeding relentlessly. She has no game. Would you like to push the tower? Kill the CM, push the tower. Kill the invoker first. Very close, very close, very close. Let me get the next. Okay, I have Radiance. I have a Radiance. That's a Life Stealer right there. Life Stealer, but I have Radiance. I have Radiance. I'm, I'm literally burning them. Absolutely tragic. At least you guys killed the invoker, maybe? Who knows? Maybe not. Tragic. Nope. They have this ward to be careful. Definite ward right up there. Man, Puck is dead. Definite 100,000% they have high ground ward. Run over here. Do a little bit of... No talent farming. And by no talent, I, I mean I don't have my plus 200 AoE talents. But it's okay, I got the Radiance. Gossamer's Cape? I don't even know, man. I kill that guy. What the fuck? Hello? I'm coming. You're talking, Puck. This is what I'm talking about. Go back to the red panda to kill him. Go for the slow, go for... Uh, yeah, okay. Ulti in 10. He just used infest. Kind of uh, funny to see him just... I think I'm just walking right the fuck out. 
This is kind of how you play Brewmaster, more or less. I mean, I didn't buy my shard with that last ulti, but you kind of just do stupid shit until the enemy can punish you for it, and sometimes they can never punish you for it, so you just get away with a bunch of stupid shit. You end up looking like a mad goddamn madman. I'm gonna go push bot. There's an arcane rune top. And then when you don't have your ulti, you communicate that to your team. That's like probably the most important three things I can tell you on this hero that I just executed pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and get the talent now and go to this. And then I'm gonna be a little bit respectful of my opponents here and probably back off a little bit here. Just show for this. I'll do this too. I can't TP. Right Unfortunate. I could have been in position for a stack if I was more focused on my farm. That's kind of more or less how we want to do that. Because they're so deep. It's hard for me to be there, but it looks like they're cleaning up. Um, Lena, sorry, Lena. Luna is going to probably get chased down by that invoker, though. Invoker tends to do that. And bot's getting pushed by them. I'm just really prioritizing my next timing, which I'm still thinking about here um, as to what I want it to be. <laughs> Fresher's good. An answer for Orchid is nice, but I want like an answer for Orchid that also actively does something. It's not just like, like Ags or something. Ags is a nice little answer for Orchid. Run through creeps. Go for Roche. Roche is a definite option. Octarine helps me survive against the bullcrap. Invoker is AFK, you say, but we don't know that for sure. You're trusting your opponent. Tragic. Yeah, see, Invoker's not AFK. I'm throwing. Throwing guys. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at you. My apologies. I thought Luna was with us. <laughs> she was too concerned typing to my opponents. That's my mistake. I shouldn't be like caring at all about what they say. I didn't, and just playing around this. This is, you know, really, Brew is so much more formulaic than I'm even making it out to be. Like, I'm trying, I'm rushing things, right? I'm, I'm getting impatient. Uh, I don't need to be. I could just be waiting for this. Every single time this is up is when you should feel strong and not a moment sooner. It's that simple. It's really that simple. Don't get baited by your teammates. She looks like she's going to BKB. I think uh, BKB on the wind, probably next fight. They're probably going to wait until she gets it. We should run at them. I want to go run at them. I'm gonna buy both of the smokes. This is a power play I make sometimes in solo queue to take the game in my hands. It's like, hey guys, now if we want to make any plays, it's up to me. I am the one that makes the calls. He turned his radiance off. That's the real life stealer right there for sure. Yep. Do you guys want to go push high ground now? I have ulti. Could just go Roche too, but with no life steal, I feel super. Super. I hate this. What is this? How is my shit so slowed? We don't have any creeps for some reason. I don't 
see, but. I was gonna say, hopefully my team can do something here. Holy crap, they are bouncing and juggling, and Visage is just pushing bottom with Vlads and Ags. And what is Visage flat? This silent of the grave. That's right. I forget. All the time. All the time. I forget. And I played behind my team, and I trusted that they could do stuff, and they did. They did stuff. That's good. That's very good. And then Luna wants to end, so I just go in with my Luna. And then because of the fear, the inherent fear of your opponents not actually letting you end, so you always gotta worry. You should stay on Green Panda. Green Panda or Void Panda while you're hitting towers. It's just the safest option. All right. That's kind of more or less how you play Brew. I mean, I feel bad because I wasn't able to like, I wasn't able to really give a whole lot of insight into the real moment-to-moment -moment decision making. I don't think, but maybe maybe I did, and actually I'm just completely like uh, 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 under under undermining my own work there. Okay, hopefully you got something from that gameplay commentary. Um, I think the main things were that we played around our timing and uh, prioritized our own farm. You notice my mid lane puck has a thousand less CS or uh, gold than us. Uh, that's 40 creeps worth of CS right there that we were able to make up in side lanes. So I'd say putting an emphasis if you were trying to emulate my play or especially somebody who's better than me at Brew, um, you'd spend time in side lanes. You'd spend time prioritizing your own farm when your ulti's not up and you would probably do well to play around your big item timings too well like yeah when we fought to, uh, top tier two i think we overstayed and not clearing their vision but then just like over we definitely overstayed there in general i'm not talking about the last bit of the game when i was like diving their tier two when luna was talking uh in all chat to the invoker i'm talking about when we were fighting uh, towards the high ground slash ancient spot, the high ground cliff sla warding spot slash the ancient camp on uh, Radiant side near their like uh, wisdom room. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, they had that ward up there that saw us and on top of that, they just had good vision of that area and we overstayed. And I remember that was like a potential throw area for us, but the enemy was not so good about recovering. Great. Fantastic. That was a double down too. It was a good game. It was a good game.